You're stealing my lettuce, you crazy. Uh, uh, so this is Russell. My explore a little bit. These plants are somewhat new. Hi. I'll try maybe to do the first rep with sure. them. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a miss. <laughs> 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 so we finally made it to the Columbus Zoo. This so is actually Russell the Sariyama. These guys actually have a very interesting thing. They'll actually smash like a, a frog or a snake or something like that. But this guy's actually painting. <laughs> but he keeps missing the, the paint here. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to do a bigger picture for you, Brad. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> missed it again. <laughs> so we'll actually be able to take these paintings home. It's really cool. We'll try another color and stuff like that, but it's amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that was a good, one. A good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good job. There you go. Yeah, you're you're fine. Fine. Oh, oh that was nice. a good one. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh no. That, that would have been. <laughs> These are our painting keepsakes from uh, Russell. I mean, that was so cool. I've seen Siriamas before doing this kind of display where they smash again. What they basically do, let's say they have a bigger snake or a bigger frog, you know, they don't want to pick it apart. So they smash it, they almost like gelatinize it so they can actually swallow the whole thing. Absolutely incredible. And this one's obviously trained to do that with paint, which is super cool. These will be great memory keepsakes for us to take home. Oh, I love these guys so much. So this is anchovy. I love anchovy to death, but she does have one flaw. She loves shiny stuff and she gets excited when she sees hands. You might notice that she's kind of facing me when we when we kind of interact with her, but you guys can touch her right on her back. See what? Look at this. I know you probably felt a penguin before. I have oh, it. Oh, well, today's the day. But mm. she's 13. If you went to South Africa, which is their native range, it's typically they're living about eight to 10 years. Yeah. But here in the zoo life where you don't have to worry about sharks, and <clears> you, know, you don't have to worry about yep. oil spills, and things like overfishing, they can live 30 and up. Wow, so we actually have one that's 30. Her name is Punk. Wow, that's amazing. And uh, yeah. she's still going strong. Oh, yeah, shiny thing. Exactly. Your camera's <laughs> yeah, intriguing. So do you know what their nickname is for the Jack African Jackass penguins? penguins? The Jackass yeah. Penguin, <laughs> not because they're jerks. Well, I can make her call if you want to. Just yeah. don't laugh at me because yeah. I have to tickle her chin and talk in this. I don't know what you can say. Sometimes she just leaves me hanging, but let's see. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll do that whole ordeal, and people, and she just leaves me hanging. And there's, she's just like, he's a real weirdo. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh she just ate, so all that fishy smell is just, just hanging. It's just hanging right here. Sometimes people get concerned when they see them kind of put their heads down, they kind of shake, they think maybe they're scared, maybe they're concerned about something. With the penguin, it's exactly yeah. the opposite. I just say it's kind of like you got a happy dog jumping yeah. up and down, yeah. wagging their tail. That's basically their way of just saying, hey, yeah. I'm happy to see you. I love them. And she enjoys the attention. Sometimes she'll literally fall asleep standing up. How is it? So it's cool. I want one. You want yeah. to this square okay. Of course, the Columbus Zoo was really highlighted with Jack Hanna, right? The, the famous guy that was on Dave Letterman forever, Animal Adventures on TV. I grew up watching him and stuff like that, and he was a good friend of mine. And this is actually an Animal Encounters area that we're about to walk into, where like how humans interact with animals. So you can see the lawn chairs, all that type of stuff. So that's what's going on in the Animal Encounter department. <laughs> And they're a species that actually will like play and manipulate rocks. So Kaylee trained them to do that, which is fun. So they're very tactile. It's actually trained to participate in its own medical behavior too. Come on up here. Do you remember this? Good boy. So that we have this little injection station here. And this is how he could get voluntary injections. And notice since he is so tactile, likes to touch stuff. We gave him this little target to hold on to here. What we do is we say touching. We touch his little hip. And then we say sticking, poke him with a syringe, and then he gets his favorite food, which is fish. He needs to be comfortable with anybody doing this. So do you guys want to be the vet? You get to feel an honor too. Let's do it. Yeah, so you just do touching right here with your finger first. Touch right there with yep. my finger. And, and then sticking. Beep. Good job. And we tell him before we do it too. So he knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. So he has the option to leave if he wants to. Oh, Isn't that cool? I see. That's super cool. So he has the choice to participate. Touching. And then 
and sticking. Sticking. Good job. <laughs> I could be a vet. Statue. <laughs> yeah, you're a vet. Done. Touching. Sticking. I actually do this uh, same training with my daughters, my six-year-old and four-year-old. I don't bring a contraption to the doctor, so that's a little weird. He's also a male model too, so let's see if he'll show off for you guys. He says I'm handsome. Oh, yes. That's so cute. He's so handsome. It's like I'm robbing his bank. Good boy. So this is usually the wild card of the behavior. We're gonna see if he'll, oh, good, good job. We'll see if he wants to make his way back to Elise, which would be amazing if he did. You can do it! Come on, let's go see her! Hello, Marker Harry on the Dillo, and so she is her big armor on her. She looks like a little girl. She's a little dirty, but she doesn't really help the parents. Quite an experience. A little ballet session, basically. Where she stands up here. <laughs> so now we can get a look at her belly, we can trim her nails. Oh, 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 oh. Or he is a large porcupine. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he's one that we uh, provide guests with a photo opportunity. So if somebody wants to come and sit here in this chair, come on up. If you can get a good picture, feel free to get close. It's really cute down on the ground mm -hmm. where That's they shoot. Uh, and you can crest it, is that what it is? This or? is uh, Indian crest. Indian it looks crested. just like an just African like crest. Yeah, gotcha. You could actually touch him right oh, here too. I'm familiar with the African crest. I've worked with them in the past and what's interesting about these guys is that they could really become super docile like this as they're certainly not pet. But a lot of people think that you know the porcupines or the quills actually are just gonna shoot out at you and that's not what it is at all. They actually puff them up and they'll back up into you and stick them into you. So you don't have to worry about like sitting next to them and having them shoot out at you or something like that. Yeah and he actually his roommate is an African crested oh, porcupine. Really? Oh, yeah so he's awesome. neutered so no concern there. Oh, God. Dude uh, love so both of them. I mean this feast day raised him since he was a baby. We've had him since he could fit in a tissue box. He's a bottomless pet. Look at the quills down there. See, those are those, like rattling quills. Uh, they're hollow, they're like straws. So when they feel threatened, they shake their tail and it makes a rattling noise. Hey, you go. So we're actually gonna hide this speaker and I don't even know what's coming out, but something's gonna find the speaker over here. So I'm gonna put it way back in here and uh, we'll see what happens. I've seen these guys before, but here she is. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're so cool. 80% <laughs> of their diet makes up insects, so we thought, why not have her find a Bluetooth speaker playing crickets? I guess hide it different every day. So if you guys want to play the crickets, we'll see if she can find it. Oh, that was a loud cricket. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> she said that was easy. Yeah, but we could. Yeah. I think that is the most fun. Let's challenge her and do it again with the... Like, look at them ears. She's going to find it. Look at the ears, exactly. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. Good job, good girl! You can do it. Oh, that's so nice. It's actually a bad ear fox. Absolutely wonderful animal. Sorry, look at the size of those ears. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, you're pretty good adept at finding things like bugs. This is a, it's a beautiful animal for sure. And uh, what Mom, do you think, Lori? Do you want to give I think it I matches think you. I think it's our new pet. <laughs> <laughs> It matches your like vibe, mom. I know. I, I totally agree. Oh, oh, come home with us. It's like your spirit animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here I can give you one of my foods if you need. She can actually hang completely from her tail. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Do you guys want to feed her? Yeah. And we'll we'll get her coming out again so you can get a video of that. Here you go. Isn't that cool. So they're can oh, hang from their tail to get hard to reach pieces of fruit. Come here, girl. No, no, no. Okay, you get a leave. Here you go. Can't see. God. There you go. Looks like my mom trying to read a book. Capybara. These are my favorite. Did oh, you know that? No, I didn't know that. I love these rats. Good. Is that rude? It's probably derogatory. Yeah, I think it's, it's a capybara. You guys are welcome to reach in and gently scratch them, see what he feels like. Their hair is coarse, which just means it's hollow on the inside so that it dries out really fast. All right, guys, I am absolutely in heaven here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm getting giraffe 
attach. Oh my god. No, you can't have all the lettuce. You have to take a piece at a time. I want to give one to over to you too. Oh my god. Oh, you're, stealing my you're stealing my lettuce, you crazy monkey. You. Oh my gosh. Okay, here you go. Here you go. A little bit at a time. Come on, you little thief. Oh my gosh, I'm being uh a giraffe attack. This one, this one here, he's a he's a silly monkey right here. Here you go, bud. Here you go. I know. I know. Here you go. This is like, I'm not going to let you get away. Hold on. It's deep. So cool. All right, John. I don't want your drool. This is amazing. So many so giraffes. Cool. And they feel so good. There's never too many giraffes. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> That was maybe the best five minutes of my life. <laughs> you were swarmed. <laughs> that was, that was freaking amazing. So freaking cool, man. You guys know that giraffes are my favorite animals, and I've never been around this many. I've fed a bunch of giraffes in my day, but never had like just like giraffes all around me. This is just uh, it's ridiculous. It's the coolest thing ever. This is. <laughs> I don't even Can know. Are they it? eating you? Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> You're but as soon as they smell food, they usually will wake up. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so cool. late. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> and you guys can touch if you can reach him. Hey, little yeah. Alright, you can touch wow. them. It's Barbara's 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 I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Yeah. Today, good night, tomorrow, they actually the give me flashbacks to the hairless rats we just did. sea lions or seals it's really cool i mean i've always loved them to death and to see this training is absolutely inspiring to think what you could do with animals like this it's uh it's super cool and we're going to get a chance to take some pictures right close to them which is going to be freaking awesome vocalization and it is so it's hard if you guys picked it up but it is crazy how it kind of this is a, a super cool thing i mean i mean that animal is freaking awesome i want to be a marine biologist now <laughs> not a recycle Nana's gonna come up behind, we're gonna be able to get some cool pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Oh, that was not what I was expecting. That was not at all what I was expecting. That was awesome. That's so cool. That was an absolutely amazing day. I could be here uh, forever. I mean, what an absolutely amazing trip. But it's time for us to hit the road, head home, and get back to our zoo. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Whoa! That's so cool.